Hi everyone, welcome to my channel again. My name is Demetrius, this is OB Pixel and OB Academy. I just wanted to get back to you with regards to what we've done recently with the new course we've developed, which is the Generative Python Text Prompting course. We've taken this course and we've built it so that we can leverage OpenAI, GPT 3 and 4, 3.5 as well, and then ChatGPT, but at the same time using Python to leverage that kind of uh, background natural language processing. So I have a little treat for you today. Based on the course that we've developed, we've actually put a number of scripts together for people in this course. And this is just a little sample of what you could potentially do in the future once you've actually attended a course like this. If you really put your head to this and you sort of mix in different libraries in Python, you could do something really cool. So what I've done is I've created the proper chatbot out of this, not just using chat GPT, but in this case, we're going to use Python. Well, I'm using Python to hook into the API. I'm taking the prompting that I'm generating from my speech, converting it to text, sending it to the engine so it can do natural language processing in the back end. So this Python script is going to be listening, converting it to text. Then when it sends it off to GPT, it'll convert it, do the necessary work, bring back the result. Then it'll turn that back into speech and then present the information over to me to speech and talk to me and give me the information that I've asked for it and at the same time present the information on the screen. And then when I'm done, I basically say I'm done and the Python script's complete. So it exits and everything works wonderfully. The code is relatively easy to write. It doesn't take long, but this is how you can leverage Python, OpenAI, GPT-3 and 4 and ChatGPT all together and create something really fun and cool to work with. Check it out. So here's the code that I've created. I've taken Python. I've leveraged the OpenAI API. I've managed to get a key online as per usual when you have your account. What we're doing with this particular Python script is we communicating with an OpenAI API to GPT-3 and 4. We will send it a text prompt into the system. The system is going to read the information back to us. So what are we doing here? Well, this is not it's just a simple matter of using chat GPT. What we're doing here is we're taking voice and speech. We're converting it down into a text prompt. We're going to send the text prompt into the engine so it can do natural language processing. Once that's done, the response will come back and the response is converted back to speech and it's told back to us. So basically, this is like your own little chatbot, but in this case, it's going to be listening to you and it will respond to you with audio. So check it out. It's going to kick in the listener. What is artificial intelligence? Artificial intelligence AI is the simulation of human intelligence processes by machines, especially computer systems. These processes include learning, the acquisition of information and rules for using the information, reasoning, using rules to reach approximate or definite conclusions, and self-correction. What is chat GPT? Chat GPT is a type of artificial intelligence that can be used to create natural sounding conversations between humans and machines. GPT stands for Generative Pre-trained Transformer, which is a type of natural language processing model that is trained on large data sets to generate text responses. Chat GPT can be used to create virtual agents, chatbots, and automation systems for various applications. I am done. And as you can see, I've also written some code inside that script. So not only does it actually read the information you give it, it also gives a confidence level based on what it's understood. It will also give me the option of being able to respond in different ways if I don't like the response. So it'll tell me uh, one response or the second response. It'll even give me an alternative response if I need it. And then of course, once I am done with the necessary communications, It'll read the fact that I'm saying, okay, well, I've said the word, I'm done. It realizes that it's not that word. 
or not those three words, because my accent is a little different. I'm a South African. So it picks up, oh, that it is I am done. The confidence level is pretty high. It's close to one. So the transcript kicks out and the Python script exits the program. If you're interested in getting some of the sample code, log on to my website on ob.academy and check out this new course we've put together, which is the generative Python text prompting course. It is all about leveraging your skills as a Python programmer, but at the same time communicating to the open AI and chat GPT, GPT-3, GPT-4, and, and you're leveraging that kind of communication, you're leveraging the text prompting, and you're leveraging the information that's been used in the back end for natural language processing, but at the same time using Python to do that. So check it out. Thanks everyone. Cheers. Bye.